Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sailing Mist. Here we are once again on the sunny south coast of the UK on the River Hamble. And in this episode we're going to find out what happens when you go away for your birthday weekend and leave your crew with a sander. Okay, as we're getting close to getting back on the water, it is time for a quick fettle of the engine. Um, so we are just going to replace the fuel filter, air filter, uh, change the oil and chuck a new impeller in there. So before we can uh, sort our fuel system out, we need to chuck some fuel back into the tank. So I'm under here in the dungeon, uh, whilst Harry gets the nice job for once, he's up on deck, uh, filling up and I'm checking down here for leaks. All good so far. Fuel's in the system, no leaks. We are going to, apparently, so I've been reliably informed, crack open this little thing and then pump this little thing here until we get some stuff coming through that. We'll see how we go. Twelve years later. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much progress after about five minutes of pumping this little pumper. Um, but what we're looking for is these little bubbles that are coming out of here very, very, very slowly. And when we get a better flow, we're just going to nip this up. Bit of an epic fail on the fuel system. We appear to have some issue pulling the fuel through. Gone to start the engine, wouldn't start. Put it on charge, wouldn't start. So we've adopted 1989 Ford Capri Mark II tactics. Whack with a hammer. She's now started. Batteries are on charge. We'll go back to that in a minute. Uh, right, next task. We are quickly going to replace our very slack alternator belt. Let's have a go at that. <laughs> Right, so we've just uh, undone this one, which will allow it to swing, and then the bottom one, which will allow it to pivot here. A lot of people just do that one, or I definitely used to back in the day, working on the old motors, um, uh, and it never used to move, but back both off and that'll be all right. That one's off. Booger. Just going to nip this up for the minute. I think what they say is that uh, the belt should be about, you should be able to just turn it through 90. And I can do that fairly easily. So I'm going to put a little bit more tension into that. But then equally, I don't think you're supposed to give them too much tension either. Never easy, is it? I'm going with that. That'll do, Ping. That'll do. This is me calmly and carefully sanding back our keel repairs. This was the day before I left to go away for a weekend. Don't worry, said Harry before I left. I'll keep us on track, man. And then... This happened. This is Harry, lightly keying up the antifoul so that we can apply a new layer. Harry, lightly, man. Harry, lightly. Hey, Harry. Harry, dude! Well, that's a few more jobs created. Join us, if you will, for the antifoul process. A speedy run through. Actually, before we do the anti fouling, I think we'll polish up the top side so we don't get any yak uh, all over our nice shiny anti foul when it's done. A 
Okay, so this tower we're about to build, this is a far cry from what we had last year and the health and safety people will love us. Last year was a bit of a rush and we used what was around us. Harry was in a shopping trolley as I was pushing them around. This is a bit safer. Yeah. Tower built, now we're going to tape up the uh, anti-foul line so that we don't get anti-foul everywhere. All taped up, now it's time to slap on some primer so that the anti-foul sticks to it. Primer done. This never stops. Time for the first layer of anti-foul. Flyers, I got gifts, but want subscribers. Thanks for the candy basket. Oh God. Who's that? Another jacket. My stocking's filled with acid. Am I dreaming? What just happened? This is not a Christmas. This is not a Christmas song. This is not a Christmas. This is not. Okay, if you've made it this far, well done. You are literally watching paint dry. Thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Da ding! Uh, so that you get told when we make a new video. And uh, don't forget to tell everyone that we're here. Cheers. When you have a couple of crew that sail on the boat, why not invite them and their whole family to come and finish off the anti-fouling? Right, that's three layers of anti-foul we've got on now. Three layers of anti-foul. And we've shoved an extra one around the top. Don't know what this is. Trailer park girls go around the outside. Uh, we've put an extra layer on the top around the water line. Um, so that helps it protect it a bit further. Now it's time to take all the tape off and see the fruits of our labour. So you've not seen it yet, but I've also got another boat. That being a Shearwater Racing Catamaran. Um, much smaller, much faster, much cheaper, uh, and much easier to maintain. So we're going to go up to the RWA dinghy show today, and we're going to have a look around. Uh, I'm going to be up there all day, but I'm going to show you around in about 20 seconds. Looks like we've got a bit of rain coming. I might leave this for a moment. One of the joys of working in the UK, dodging the showers. Hold up, it's raining. It's flipping raining. Let's check. Okay, so this is pretty encouraging. Before we left the boat five days ago to disappear and earn some pennies, uh, we put this brown paper around the mast section where we knew she was leaking lots, as you would have seen from previous videos. If you've not seen, please go have a look. You may enjoy. Uh, we've come back, it's been raining fairly heavily on a few of the days we've been away, and there is nothing in the bilge. So have we cracked it? Yeah! I think we might have fixed it. We'll leave the brown paper here, and we will monitor. We have got a piece of track for the spinnaker pole. It works, it fits, it's been fettled, it is fine. However, how are we going to get it back onto the track? Because I don't want to drill any more holes in the bottom of the mast here. Uh, this is a pretty loaded area when it comes to masts. Um, there's a lot of stress that goes through there. And I'm not particularly comfortable without running some finite analysis, which I haven't got time to do, really. So we are using um, some no nails. This is um, far from ideal. It is not what we would recommend. 
but it stops us from drilling any more holes in the mast and hopefully life's going to be golden. Here it goes. We're going to find out whether this has worked with this spillica pole or not. Uh, it's had a week to dry. The good thing about it having a week to dry is that if it's worked, it should be great. The bad thing about it having a week to dry is if it's glued itself and set in the wrong place, we've got a pretty big issue. <laughs> I'm taking that as a win. That's a wrap. Thank you for joining us again on another episode of Sailing Mist. Join us next episode, two weeks time, where we are going to do something slightly different. We're going to concentrate on one thing. That's right, one thing. Revolutionary concept, I know, we're a bit manic, a bit all over the place, some may say. But tomorrow, one thing. Not two, not three, one. Not even tomorrow. Two weeks time. I'm ruffling. Bye.